I almost feel like I don't have a right to speak on this. Because what kind of high horse can a guy like me get on? Yes, this is your boy, Delex Man. Yes, I've gotten on my high horse. I've gotten on a high horse for the last seven years here on YouTube. I've had no issues speaking out on pretty much anything. I have an opinion about it. I'm going to say it. You want to know why? Because it's my YouTube channel. But incidents like this kind of make me question what moral ground I can speak on. Now, I've been a wrestling fan for almost 20 years now. First match I ever saw, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 14. Iron Mike Tyson as the special guest ring enforcer. My little eight-year-old self was never the same. I went to my third grade classes doing crotch chops, doing rock catchphrases, throwing up middle fingers. I was bad. But I've been a fan ever since, and as time went by and I continued to watch wrestling, I grew to respect it. I grew to admire it. I've grown to love the art of this entertainment business. I've grown to respect every wrestler who left blood, sweat, and tears in between those ropes. Male, female, old and young. So, it does bother me. It does bother me when I hear Sexy Star took liberties with the business. Took liberties with people that put their safety in her hands. And look, I don't know too much about the story when it comes to Sexy Star and Rosemary. All I know is what the reports have said. Apparently, there is some real-life heat between Sexy Star and Rosemary, and it boiled over into their professional lives. It boiled over into the match. And during their match at Triple Mania that happened, I think, about a week ago, I went ahead and watched it. Sexy Star, at the end of the match, had... Rosemary in an arm bar, an arm breaker, and she legit broke her arm. She pulled it out of the socket. And when I'm watching the video, at first, when I heard about this, I thought it was a work. I'm going to be real with you, because I've learned to not take everything I read or was told seriously. I always question it. It happened in wrestling. It could be a work. But then I saw it, and when I see Sexy Star basically wrenching and pulling and maliciously breaking the arm of Rosemary, I'm sorry, it, it not only as a fan disgusted me, but as a person, I have to just, I have to question what the hell she was thinking. And look, I've grown to admire, even in a sense, be a fan of Sexy Star from her work on Lucha Underground. Loved her story with Mariposa and her being kidnapped by Marty DeMoth Martinez and then her awesome, awesome fight where she basically won the Aztec medallions. First Blood, I forgot what it was called. No Mas, No Mas, there we go. Her No Mas match with uh, Mariposa awesome moment where the referee asked her if she wanted to quit she said f you wonderful not gonna cuss because youtube is watching my videos i'm gonna watch what i say here with that said though i even as a fan if you will a sexy star cannot support her after what she did and just seeing her act that malicious it really makes me question her sanity. It really makes me question, should this woman really be in the wrestling business? Why would you have someone in the business that's going to deliberately hurt somebody? For whatever reason. Okay, so I don't know what really happened between them. All I know is that Sexy Star didn't like Rosemary. Fine. Whatever she did to you. Why would you hurt someone, someone that put their trust in you? You don't do that. Not in this business. That's not cool. 
I don't really know why. Again, I, I'm not in the business. I know. I understand my place as a wrestling fan. I'm the person that buys tickets, goes to a seat, and watches. I know that. But these are human beings, man. These are people who put their bodies on the line 24-7, who don't see their families, who barely see their families because they love the business and they do it for our entertainment. Sometimes they're on the road 24-7, missing out on some very important, very important events in their lives. Weddings, graduations, everything. And Rosemary, again, don't know much about her. I've seen her work a little bit on TNA. To know that she gave up time with her friends and family to go to AAA, AAA's uh, WrestleMania, Triple Mania, and get her arm broken by a woman who didn't like her for whatever reason. It's not right, man. It's not. And I can't support Sexy Star. As a matter of fact, I was watching Lucha Underground today, and she had a match with Joey Ryan. I was thinking about that incident, and I'm sorry. I can't, I can't respect her anymore, man. I can't. And I hear when it was done, after she broke her arm, she tried to cover her butt. It's a work. It's not real. I didn't really do anything. She can't even admit what everyone already knows. You don't have to be a wrestling fan to know that this woman legitimately broke her arm. That's crazy. The least you can do is come out and admit it. Be honest about it. Be an upfront bitch. And not some fake one. I'm sorry. I, I can't sit here and show any kind of respect to somebody that would hurt a partner, a dance partner like that. You know, don't do that. You know, if you want to settle it in some other way, find a different way to settle it. But what you did was cowardly. What, what Sissy Star did was wrong. And as a person watching wrestling, I think the best thing for the business is for her to leave. Seriously. Now... If anybody wants to sign her, I'm not going to tell these wrestling companies what to do. If anybody wants to continue signing her, if anybody wants to put her on their show, go right ahead. Okay? You do what you want. It's your business. It's your show. But I just question anybody that would simply because if she can do this to Rosemary, what's to say she won't do it to anybody else she put her with? If she could. Now, she's not going to do this to... I don't know, a Marty Skrull or a Will Ospreay or anybody like that. Because if she did, they beat the living hell out of her. And her being a woman is not going to matter. Because, look, in this world, I know it's frowned upon to hit women. But don't ever let anybody break your arm. So she wouldn't do that to them. But what if she did that to somebody that couldn't fight back? Once you do it, don't put it out of your heads that she can't do it to anybody else. I don't think she deserves to wrestle again. I don't think she deserves to be in any ring. That's my opinion, and that's what I'm sticking with. Now, if you feel differently, put it down below in the comments. But that's how I feel. If you have an issue with what I said, please express it down below. I don't care. You think I care? Because I don't. I know what I said. Again, I used to, yeah, used to be a fan of Sexy Star. Now I'm not. Not after what she did. And she can't even come out and admit what she did. You know, get some, some kind of respect for it. But nah, she wants to hide from it. Nah, it was a work. I didn't really break her arm, please. Get the hell out of here. That's my opinion of the subject. That's how I really feel. Sexy Star, you lost all my respect. All of it. And quite frankly, if you left the business today, never came back, I think we would all be better for it. So please do yourself a favor and don't step inside a ring if that's how you're going to be. 
Otherwise, get your act together. Shape up. Be a civil human being. Apologize for what you did. She's not going to. She doesn't seem like somebody that would anyways. But there you go. That's my opinion on Sexy Star. Thank you for watching.